Hey everybody, David the AI Guide here. Welcome to another episode. Thanks so much for tuning in. And please be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Support us on Patreon, please, so that we can bring you new types of, of events and interviews and all kinds of other things with your support. Um, and we appreciate you tuning in and we really appreciate all the comments and thank you so much to all our new subscribers. So today's video is going to be a little complicated and I'm going to briefly read a couple of parts of it, but this is an important one. So as you guys know, because we've talked about this in multiple videos before, the holy grail of AI or, or artificial intelligence is general artificial intelligence. What does that mean? That means creating an AI that can think like a human. And for the entire history of AI, we have been a long, long way away from that. Well, we're maybe a step closer and we can thank Google's deep mind for this breakthrough. So uh, AlphaGo that was trained to play Go and was better than any human would only work on Go. And that's it, nothing else. That's a very, very narrow application of AI. And it's typical of AI. AI generally only works in a very, very specific application. A another example would be reading x-rays. You can uh, train the algorithm on tens of millions of x-rays, and then the algorithm can diagnose what the problem is from the x-rays, but not if something new comes up. <laughs> uh, AlphaGo cannot play any other game at all, at any level of competence. So uh, DeepMind's step forward is big. So the first thing they did was create an environment called Xland. And what Xland is, is called a, a, it has a computational task generator. So that means all current games are set up or programmed ahead of time and certain things happen. If you do this, then that, this, that, this, that, like that, right? Uh, AI is math, right? So computer games are math. They're programmed through mathematical equations. So, uh, but XLAN can, with its computational task generator, can create new, brand new environments this is a, this in itself is a huge breakthrough. But they created Xland to try to create an agent like AlphaGo that could successfully play games in a dynamic environment, not one that was basically not linear, but pre-programmed and determined. Um, in Xland, uh, the environment can change, new bridges, new walls, all kinds of things that were not originally programmed in the game. And they wanted to see if an algorithm, an agent, could learn this. So here are the techniques they're using at the cutting edge of research now. First, they're using deep learning. Second, they're using reinforcement learning. And what DeepMind has done is combine those into deep reinforcement learning. So deep learning is a neural net, right? Uh, a very complex, sophisticated neural net. And reinforcement learning, as uh, it says in the article, is uh, the first computational theory of intelligence. So it is very, very difficult to mathematically replicate human intelligence. It's, it's been impossible. Reinforcement learning is the first viable attempt to do that. So by com 
combining deep learning with this reinforcement learning, they were able to create an agent that was able to successfully play the game. So uh, check out these statistics. This is mind blowing. According to DeepMind, each agent played around 700,000 totally unique games in 4,000 unique worlds worlds within Xland and went through 200 billion training steps across 3.4 million unique tasks. So um, these are big, big numbers and uh, the agents were successful. So this is the first successful attempt in history for an AI agent to apply specific knowledge to general circumstances. Humans are very good at this, taking knowledge from one environment and transposing it into a different environment and being able to successfully navigate that environment. This is the first time ever. Now, again, DeepMind cautions everyone that this is uh, in its infancy and the results that they came up with have to be verified by independent peer review, which is how science advances. You, you come up with a theory or uh, something like that, and then your, your, your peers who are other scientists or professors or whatever prove in their own environment, they can replicate your results. Uh, that's peer review. So uh, what they say is that the, these AI agents clearly exhibit general zero-shot behavior across the task space, meaning X-Land. Zero-shot machine learning models can solve problems that were not present in their training data set. So this is the cutting edge, folks. <laughs> They are combining the most sophisticated neural nets sorry, with reinforcement learning, and they are creating AI agents that can take specific knowledge and play it in environments that they were not trained on. This is like AlphaGo being able to play chess, which cannot happen, but this is a first step. Artificial general intelligence will be profoundly transformative to the world. Um, I don't want to speculate in this video on the impact of that, but we can hope that the people at DeepMind and other places where they're working on these new technologies are, are doing this thoughtfully and understanding that they may invent something that disadvantages humans. <laughs> um, and so we need to be careful about that. But at the same time, this is a major breakthrough and this is breaking news from just last week. So, I uh, wanted to get this out as quickly as I can. It's complicated, but general intelligence with this kind of approach is on the way, 15, 20 years, and then the whole game is different, the whole game of human life. <laughs> so uh, we'll keep you riveted on this one because anything that happens with AGI is going to have the most impact. And as you know, our mission is to prepare you for the impact of all AI in terms of job disruption and taking care of yourself and your family. So uh, click the link below. You want to use this free resource to learn everything you can about AI because within five years, your job will require it, a basic knowledge of using AI. Um, unless you're 
working on a factory floor manufacturing stuff, your job is going to require a base knowledge of AI five years from now. Be prepared. Thanks a lot. Uh, please support us on Patreon, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Get your free resource, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.